Hey everyone, Danielle here. So it is pancake time and I wanted to show you how you can make them easily with the deluxe grill and griddle using the griddle setting. So um, I took my grills out and so I'm going to insert my two griddle plates. And you always remember that the pouring spout goes to the back. They just slide in like this and you push down, okay? So it's really, really easy to insert the plates. There we go. And then I'm gonna turn it on and I'm going to turn my knob till it comes to griddle. So it gives you a 60 minute timer, which you don't need 60 minutes, but they just have it as a default for 60 minutes. You can certainly adjust that if you wish. And the griddle setting is a preset temperature to 350 degrees. So I'm going to press my start and my time is fine. And so now it's heating up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it flat. Let me just move this a little forward here. And there is a hinge on the side. You guys can't really see it, but there's a hinge on the side that when I pull the hinge, it allows me to lay my griddle flat. So now it will be all set and ready to go once it heats up and we'll be able to cook some pancakes. So I will be back once it's heated. Hey everybody, okay, we're back. So my machine beeped at me, which means it is at temperature. So it's at 350 degrees. So I'm going to take my pancake mix. Um, now, little tip for you when you are making pancakes is you don't want your batter super smooth. You want there still to be some lumps in it because lumps are gonna be what um, give you nice fluffy pancakes. So make sure you don't over mix uh, your pancake batter. The other thing you can do is if you're not making a pancake batter from scratch and you're doing store-bought, you can always add in some extras just to kind of elevate the flavor a little bit. So you can add in some cinnamon, you could add in some nutmeg, you could add in some vanilla, kind of whatever you like, and it just kind of elevates it. Now, the other thing you can do as well is if you have leftovers and your family doesn't eat all the pancakes that you make, then um, pop them in the freezer. And then all you have to do when you want a pancake is um, put them into the toaster. Take them out, put them in the toaster, and you're all set. That's all um, Kellogg's does with the Eggo ones. So you'll be all ready to go. So you can see I've got six really good sized pancakes. If I was making more, oh, I forgot to hit my ad. There we go. So now the timer is going to go. I always forget to hit the timer. So um, I've got six here. I could do another six on this side. I could do a whole whack of fried eggs. I could do scrambled eggs. If I wanted, I could actually have my grill plate in and I could be grilling my bacon at the same time that I'm cooking my pancakes. So that's an option as well. Um, and then the other thing with your pancakes is you're going to know when your when they're ready to be turned basically when they're all nice and bubbly like they are right here so I'm just going to take my spatula i'm going to get a different spatula hang on there we go i'm going to get my more um, flexible one just because they're smaller so you go check look at those beautiful oops i didn't turn that very well did you see how you get a nice little poof on those? That's because you don't overmix. There we go. And you can add in, you know, put in some blueberries or some chocolate chips, whatever you like. But this is awesome for breakfast because I don't know about you, but it never fails when we have pancakes. Everybody's eating, I'm still cooking pancakes and I'm the last one to eat. Whereas now I can make 12 all at once, which is great and cleanup is super super easy so these are going to cool and they are going to go into my freezer for alex for breakfasts um just because it's in the middle of the afternoon that i'm doing this video for you <laughs> 
So anyways, hope this was helpful. You guys can see how you can use it as a double-sided um, as a double-sided griddle. Okay, so I will be back with more to show you some more great things that you can do with this. Have a great day. Cheers.